to another edition of Ringo TV Raw. Why men pump and dump. Young women look good, but their brain is not ready. That's the problem. The other day we did a live show. We was talking about how as men, you should get with younger women rather than older women because of various issues. But now we want to talk about how younger women can have issues too. And we're going to learn why men choose to pump and dump. So as you come into the stream, be sure to click the like button one time. A lot of these women, they're not prepared, but they think they are. They got a little tail, pretty face, nice figure, and they figure that they got it popping now. Not realizing that a brother just trying to smash at the end of the day. Doesn't matter how good you think you are. Doesn't matter your education. A man is wired to smash. Money Mayweather got a 26 year old. Women are upset about this because he's 46. But they don't understand the game to understand why. Now it's easy for us to say that, oh, he's with her or she's with him because of his money. It doesn't matter. This is the world that you ladies want. When I teach these sisters to become a wife, they look at me like I'm crazy. When I used to teach brothers to take single mothers as concubines, these ladies looked at me like I'm crazy. Then I changed my message and I told these brothers, say no to single mothers. Now they mad. <laughs> Ladies, it's coming a day. I'm just gonna let you know now. It's coming a day where I'm gonna teach these brothers to just say, do what the fuck you wanna do with these women. At the end of the day, it's their choice. Because no matter how much I try to teach you ladies, to keep your legs closed, be a good girl, find a decent man. Y'all don't want that. So when the Pookies and the Ray Rays have a field day with you, now you pushing 40 with three kids. Now you on TikTok crying. I don't care. The day is coming nigh, trust and believe. Just like I used to teach these brothers Get with these single mothers and take them in as concubines. Y'all didn't want that. Okay, cool. Now I don't want you. So if you're a single mom, stay the fuck away from me. Because I don't want you. And I'm going to teach these brothers not to deal with you. Because it's only right. This is what you want. Remember? 
See, here on Ringo TV Raw, we keep it a thousand. We don't have no time to sugarcoat. We have no time to dance around the truth. When you see a single mom, you run. Because a lot of single mothers look good. Good enough to smash. That's about it. Now they mad with me. But <laughs> just the other day, I was telling these brothers to take you in as a concubine. You didn't want that. Now you mad at me. You wasting your time. The girls look so good, but their brain not ready. That's what we had right now in today's society. A lot of sisters look good, but upstairs they're not ready. Guys, you have to be very careful of young women that are naive. A lot of young sisters, especially the religious ones, should be avoided at all costs. I'm just being honest with you, brothers. Being very honest. Now, the typical shaman language that I'm going to get from women is, who hurt you? You're hurt. Uh, you're gay. You don't get no JJ. Something, they're going to say. Typical shaman language of modern women. The reason why men are choosing to pump and dump is because the women in today today's day ain't shit. It's just as simple as that. But Ringo, you got daughters. That's their problem. You see, as a father, I understand the game. So if any daughter of mine don't know how to keep their self chase to protect their behind, then they're going to be food for the sharks. Just like all you brothers that got daughters and they out here 3 0 4 you already gave them the game but they went out here and put your family name to shame. You don't hear me. See, I cannot control a young lady. If a young lady choose to go down the path of destruction, that's her problem, not mine. A woman is supposed to keep her legs closed to protect herself, to protect her feelings and her value. Today's women don't do that. That is why men pump and dump, because modern women are just that easy. I mean, think about this, ladies. If a guy can gain access to your body and you're not his wife, what that make you? Do it make you a good woman? No. It make you a bad girl. And bad girls normally get pumped and dumped. So the way I look at it is men who are pumping and dumping these women, these women deserve exactly what's coming. Oh, but you mad at me now. <laughs> you mad at me for the obvious truth. I mean, if you're a woman and a guy choose to pump and dump you. That's on you. <laughs> you open your legs. You got with the guy. You are not his wife. There was no commitment established. You played yourself. Do you understand me? It's your fault. But are you gonna take personal accountability for that? No. See, when I teach you ladies to follow the most high, you reject everything I teach. When I teach you to submit to a man that practice polygyny, you don't gravitate towards that man. So what are you waiting for? You're waiting to be recreational use to some sort of man out there. And recreational use is the way it's gonna always be moving forward. See. I am not here giving men a green light 
take advantage of you. You're just dumb. You're going to allow men to take advantage of you because you're slow. You're naive and you don't understand nothing because you don't got a man. You don't got no guidance and your daddy wasn't there. That's why you're where you are right now with all them kids. Do you understand me? See, I realize that in today's culture, we have a lot of problems as men. We have a lot of problems in the dating world. We have a lot of problems that we're dealing with. And on top of that, to add insult to injury, we got to deal with the problems of these women that have lost their minds. Dating in today's day is done. Like, it really is. Like, soon I'm going to literally tell you guys, forget about marriage, forget about wiping up any of these women. It's, it's just a wrap. It's like the game is done. Today's woman is not interested in being a wife. She's not interested in serving God. She's not interested in listening to the truth. She's only interested in going on social media, showing her behind, dancing, uh, playing games, just acting the fool, living her best life. What does that get her? Pumped and dumped. Because at the end of the day, you gentlemen are going to have to still be fruitful and multiply. So the majority of you brothers are going to be dealing with 304s. Sad, but this is what it's going to be, guys. Sad to say, but I got to give you the bad news. You're going to end up just dealing with 304s at the end of the day. Because that's where we are right now. You can preach the Bible a thousand times. You can quote a scripture a million times. Today's woman is ungodly. That's just where we are right now. And we got to face the facts of where we are. I constantly tell these sisters, get with a righteous man. I don't see them doing that. You know why? There are no righteous, holy women in the land. There are none. There are no holy women in the land. None. Anytime you see women in my comment section, they're always over 40. This is something that you gentlemen are going to have to get used to and understand. Anytime you see females in my live chat, right, or in my comment section, and they running their mouth, talking crap, they're normally over 40, or they got kids out of wedlock. And they're triggered because I made it very clear that as men, we're not supposed to get with single mothers. I don't want no single mother. I don't care how cute you are. I don't care what's going on. You understand me? I don't want you. So go find your baby daddy and tell him to deal with you. Because I'm not going to teach these men to get with you to get problems. Because that's all they're going to get is problems. Because at this point, you're just recreational use. I'm just being honest. See, I'm not Derek Jackson. Um, I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. If you're a single mother and a man is trying to holler at you, he's just trying to smash. I'm just keeping it a stack. You should know that there really is nothing there. Number one, I don't want I don't want your kids. I'm not trying to take care of your kids and I don't care about your kids. They're not mine. Do you understand me? You're supposed to go to the baby daddy so that he can show your children love because those are his kids. They're not mine. If I'm getting with you, it's to smash. That's it. I'm not there for nothing else. See how I'm keeping it a stack? See, ladies, all of these other guys, they're going to lie to you. They're going to come up to you and be like, hey, baby, you know, I'm trying to make you my woman. And, you know, I want to love your kids and I want to do this and all this other stuff. They sugarcoat and everything. And they just literally pandering towards you, telling you what you want to hear. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. If I'm getting with you, it's to smash. And that's it did that register in your mind because i don't want no relationship with you other than that i'm just keeping it a stack but do you see guys they cannot handle the straight and forward talking point because see the problem with a lot of you guys is that when you're dealing with these women you're always sugarcoating and dancing around what you really want all you want to do is smash you ain't trying to take care of her kids so why are you fronting just tell her straight up. 
sister, you know, I'm not really trying to get into no relationship. I don't want this. I don't want that. I'm just trying to smash. That's it. Boom. Ball is in her court. Because guess what, guy? When you tell her straight like that, she's going to deal with you either way. Brothers, understand the game. All of these ladies that you see pulling up on the platform got a man that's hitting it in some form, in some way. Don't believe the hype. Do you understand me? Don't fall for the okie doke. When you see women appearing as though they are holy, talking about the Bible, Jesus, they're over 40. And if they're younger, they're naive. They don't know what they're talking about. You see, as a man and as a content creator, I understand that all of you gentlemen come from different walks of life, meaning some of you guys believe in the Bible. Some of you guys don't. Some of you guys follow other faiths. Some of you guys may came out of prison. Some of you guys are pookies. Some of you guys are Ray Rays. Some of you guys are incels. Some of you guys are Mechtel. Some of you guys come from all different walks of life. So when I speak, it's not a one size fit all. I gotta be sure that when I share my commentary, that it reaches the masses of all different types of men in all different types of scenarios. Unfortunately, many women have selective hearing and they're unable to understand the talking points because they only see me through the lens of the last guy that slept with them. So they're always getting mad anytime they hear anything that I say because it reminds them of the man of their past. See, ladies, I'm not your baby daddy. I'm not the one that planted that baby in your belly. That was your baby daddy. Just because he ain't ish doesn't mean you judge me because I really don't care. I'm not with you. I'm not your man. I'm here to teach these men what's going on in these streets so they don't fall victim to the okie doke because in today's day, the dating game is destroyed. And the reason why a lot of these men are out here choosing to pump and dump is not because I told them to go do so. Men are going to do what they're going to do regardless what you say. Regardless what I teach, men are going to do what they're going to do. I made a song called Pump and Dump, not teaching men to, but speaking against Pump and Dump. But at the end of the day, men are going to still do what men are going to do. And nobody can stop that. And the only way a man can pump and dump a woman is if the woman is dumb enough to allow it. A man can't pump and dump you unless you allowed it. If your legs is open, you gave him access to pump and dump you. So save me all of the shame and language of Ringo, but you got four daughters. <laughs> they got their own mind. When they get of age and they go outside and make their own decisions, that's on them. Just like you went outside and made your decisions, that's on you. Do you understand me? Because normally what these young ladies do is when they're in their prime, they never settle down with a quality man. They settle down with Pookie and Ray Ray. That's normally when they have all their kids. And then when they start pushing 30 years old, they got about three of them. And then by the time they push 40, now they want Jesus. Now they wear the daishikis, the head wraps, and claiming that they're filled with the Holy Ghost and speak with tongues. Why? Because now they're looking for a good man. Now they're ready to give their life to you. And when they give their life to you, they come with all sorts of baggage, all sorts of kids, all sorts of problems. And I don't want you guys to sign up for that package. Do you understand me? So say no to single mothers. Say no. Say no. You understand? Enough playing games, enough arguing, and ain't... It's just a waste of time. Dating in today's day is really bad. And the only thing 
And the only way in which things are going to go anywhere is you just got to go with the flow. <laughs> That's the culture we live in. It's called going with the flow. Because marriage is dead. So you can forget about that. So all you guys talking about, well, you know, I'm trying to find me a sister and settle down with those days are over. These women are not trying to settle down. These women want to play. It's just like when you see all these women coming into my live chat talking like if I'm listening, I don't care. I don't know you. Go find a man. And leave me alone. They don't want to submit. Eve has been deceived her whole life in rebellion. And that's why we are where we are right now. See, if women, if women kept their legs closed, you, do you realize that you guys would truly be following the most high? If all women really kept their legs closed and protected their innocence, their body and everything, do you not know that men would literally be 100% on point? Why is this crazy person in the chat saying that Ringo blocked me again? And they're in the chat commenting. Let me show you what blocked me again look like. That is what blocked me look like. I don't know what this person's talking about. Now you're blocked. Because I don't know what kind of crazy person you are coming here, wasting your time. You're running your mouth. You're going crazy. I don't know you. Nobody's listening to you. You're saying that I blocked you when I never did. But now I just did. Because that's what you're asking for. Now, guys. Young women. Right? Young women have a lot of issues. And we got to deal with it. We got to deal with it, guys. A lot of women, young women, look good. But their brain is not ready. We want to talk about that. We want to really discuss that because it's something that men have to understand what is going on. Um, let me see. <clears throat> What's going on here? Okay. All right. Now, younger women look good, right? But their brain is not ready. This is one of the biggest problems in today's day, man. When I tell you, it's difficult to explain because women are on a collision course of destruction and don't even know. I'm talking about every last one of them. They're all going to be destroyed if they don't get right with the most high. Like it's inevitable. This curse that is in the earth on the daughters of Zion is serious. It's like their brain don't register truth. Like you could teach them truth, they don't hear it. But if you're wicked, they love that. In my last stream, I was talking about the situation with Mayweather and how as men you should deal with younger women rather than older women because older women are pretty much set in their ways. Most of them are washed up. They got a pile of kids and they come to you with nothing but problems. And pay no mind to all of the women that you see on social media that are over 40 putting on a bunch of makeup, filters and all that other mess. They just doing that stuff to entice you to come in, slide in the DMs to take care of their kids. At the end of the day, they have nothing to offer you. Trust and believe when I tell you guys. The only thing they can do for you is sleep with you. That's about it. There's nothing else there. This is why they get mad at me. There really is nothing there. Right? So, I need for you brothers to understand how the mind of the younger woman behave. Some young women you get with you may be able to mold them, teach them, guide them. 
but most of them have been tampered so much that they're no different than the 40 year old woman. Same thing. They look good on the outside, but in the inside, full of dead men bones and all uncleanness. This is where we at in today's day, guys. Trust and believe that. You have a lot of sisters that look real good. How many of you brothers seen sisters that look just like this? Look good, but their brain is not ready. Their mind is not ready. And it's like, they just can't be taught. You can't teach them nothing. You can't tell them nothing. They don't want to listen to nothing. It's just really sad. You know? And most of them got a bunch of kids. And you're like, damn, I didn't even know Shorty had all them kids. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what be going on, fam. You know? They go out there and they have all them kids. They do this mess. And this is what happens here, fam. This is what's going on. And then when you get in with them, you thinking, oh, I got me a young sister. She, she, no, she's already done destroyed too. She's destroyed too. Pretty face, whatever the case is, still problems. That's just the way it is, man. You know? And you don't want to have that problem when you get with a younger sister. You want to make sure that she's on point. You want to make sure that she good and she going to listen. Because if not, all you're going to have is a pretty face. And that's it. <laughs> and you, it's just going to be a waste of time. It's like you 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 got a pretty pretty young lady, but she's not listening to you. You know? She's not listening to anything. Because she don't know God. She don't have her father in her life. And she don't have no wisdom. And this is an ongoing problem that we have in today's day. Where a lot of these younger women. Don't have no guidance. And no matter how much you try to teach them. They just don't listen fam to no truth it's like they have a truth repellent it's as if though the truth don't register right now we're going to take a look at some comments i'm going to show you some comments to give you an example of what i'm talking about to show you and illustrate exactly what i mean where women or younger women don't listen to nothing and they just don't they have a, they don't have a brain the brain is just it's just not working and it's disappointing, to say the least. Because a lot of you guys, you may be dealing with this type of madness. And my hope is that you can uh, maneuver around this, this mess. A lot of guys are going to continue to go out there and pump and dump because the women are not gravitating towards the truth. And this is an ongoing problem. If women are not coming into this truth, repenting of their sins, getting right with the most high getting with a man that is true and she's not taking heed to that or developing herself or understanding anything it's just gonna only make a lot of men frustrated and they're gonna say look Ringo I hear what you're saying cool it is what it is hey I'm going out and I'm gonna do me can't stop them. but what normally happens is women blame me and say that I'm telling you brothers to go out there and pump and dump I can't tell you guys to do anything. You're men. You're going to do what you want to do regardless of what I say. You come to the platform to hear the information. And then you go out there and you do you, you do what you do. I can't control you, you know? But the truth of the matter is women are not cooperative in today's day. And this is why guys are just saying, look, hey, F it. I'm just going to just get with these sisters, smash, dash, do what the hell I got to do. You got righteous guys, guys that were with the most high once. These guys left the most high. These guys went back into the world. Literally, they just said, hey, forget this, man. I'm going back in the world. Do me. I'll come back to the most high when I feel like it. This is what's going on right now. A lot of guys, a lot of good guys turn bad because the women are no longer cooperative. 
So the men are like, listen, I'm just going to go do me. Now we have a world full of whoredom. And that's where we at right now. That's where we at, fam. We got a lot of women with pretty faces, but these women minds are not ready for nothing. Let's go into these comments right here. A young lady came into one of my, my, my last stream and said a few things that I got to address. So I want you to take a look at this guy so you can understand the magnitude of the problem on why men choose to pump and dump. And a lot of people might look at Mayweather like, but damn, Mayweather got this young 26 year old woman. And for whatever reason, he's, you know, people, the women, the women are upset because he's 46 and she's 26. Let me see if I can bring back up that photo with uh, Mayweather so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about because he's getting hate from these women that are washed up. They're mad at the world because their life sucks. You know how that go. So they want to get mad at him as if though it's his fault when it's not. Let me see where this photo is, man. Had the photo in the, the stream earlier. Where I put the damn photo, bro. I mean, if I can't find it, then it doesn't really matter. Because yeah, I saw it in the last stream anyway. I don't even know where the hell the photo is. I think it's on the desktop. Let me see. I think it's here. That's weird. I don't even know where it is. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Well, you got to just look at my last stream. He's in a, a video or um, not a video, but um, he have some young lady that he dealing with. And a lot of women are upset about this because they're like, like, wait a minute. This guy got this young, this young woman by his side and it's like nah fam like why why how is it that he got this woman and he's not with a woman his age and this is what women are saying and a lot of younger women are also angry and jealous because either they want to be with Mayweather or they're looking at Mayweather from the lens of religion rather than understanding the times we're in and the culture Mayweather don't follow the most high. Mayweather's going to be outside smashing all different types of women. He's a, he's a billionaire. He can go and do it. He got the bread to go and F with any woman he choose. You know what I mean? Similar to Solomon in the Bible. Hundreds of wives, hundreds of concubines. Solomon had hundreds of wives and concubines, fam. So guys like Mayweather that got wealth and riches, those kind of guys is in a whole different category. They don't, they don't, they don't get married. Guys like that don't, they don't get married. They just deal with women. And the women who deal with them, they already don't know what it is. It ain't like these, these women are being taken advantage of. These women know their purpose. They know their call. Their call is just to be his pleasure. That's it. The candy girl, the girl that's just there on his arm, the girl that make him look good, the girl that come to the crib and do what she got to do. And then she go home, period. Or she lives with him. It doesn't matter. But the point is, a lot of women don't understand the magnitude of the different types of relationships in today's day that men are having with women. Some of you guys, you have women that they're not your girl. But when you meet up with each other, you always smash in the sister. It's like she's not your woman. Technically, she's not. Y'all never made no agreement. But the thing is, when y'all meet up, it's like y'all always get it in. Y'all always do what y'all do. And then it's like, you go back to your world. She go back to her world. Well, that kind of relationship is available because that's the position the woman chose to be in. She made the choice to be recreational use for you. And that's just what it is. So as men, when you try to establish relationships with women in today's day, you got to understand the different dynamics. It ain't the same no more. Do you understand me? The, the, the traditional woman is no more. There are no women like that. Today's women are 304s, jump offs, 
side pieces, sneaky links, hookup culture. These are the kinds that you're dealing with in today's day. Do you understand me? And the women that are in church, the religious ones, um, they're on they're on lonely fans, uh, showing their body, selling their body. That's what they're doing. I'm talking about women that are in the church are doing this. So you're in a world where as a man, you gotta know and pick your poison. <laughs> which which one you're gonna get with? You know what I mean? Because in order to get with a woman to build a relationship, let's just say you're the type of guy that want to build a relationship with a woman, you're tired, you just wanna settle down, get with a woman, do what you gotta do. Okay, guy, it's gonna be difficult because you're gonna have to wean through a bunch of garbage. You're gonna have to wean through a lot of women that don't want that. I told you guys already, most women, their bodies look good, their faces look good, but their brain is not ready, bro. It's not ready for nothing serious. This is why they get pumped and dumped. This is why. You understand? And no matter how much I tell them this, no matter how much I teach this, they blame me for why you guys choose to pump and dump them, as if though they're not making the decision to take their clothes off. Look, ladies, if you're taking your clothes off to a man and he's not your husband, then you're a 304. Let's just call it what it is. You're just that recreational use for the time. You chose to open your legs. So how could you say that the man took advantage of you when you open your legs for him? You're not his wife. You made no agreement. So if he choose to leave you and you're not his wife, how could you get mad at him when your legs were open? And because of this, the older women are jealous of the younger women because the older women don't have that youthfulness that the younger women have. But see, the problem with the younger sisters, guys, is that the younger sisters are too cocky and conceited. That's the, that's the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Because these women are cocky and arrogant and conceited, that is what's going to be responsible for their downfall. Because... They focus so much on how they look. I'm pretty. I'm beautiful. I got a nice body. Yeah, but everybody's tapping that ass. You're pretty. You're beautiful. You got all those things, but everybody's running through you. So obviously you're pretty and your beauty is not really doing much for you when the team is running a train on you. So what does it profit you as a sister if you look good and you're young and you're getting ran through? Obviously, you don't got no brain because any woman that got a brain would understand to keep her damn legs closed. But you're not doing that. So it's not that these men are taking advantage of you. It's not that these men are pumping and dump you. You made the choice to get used. You made the choice to take off your clothes. You made that choice. Nobody else did that but you. You understand? All on social media, you see sisters posting photos like this. Now, what exactly as a woman are you doing when you post a photo like this? Because if you post a photo like this, all I want to do is smash. I'm just telling you straight. So you're inviting men into your world to desire you, to smash. You never see sisters post pictures of themselves, of them cleaning their house, cleaning the tub, washing the dishes. Have you guys ever seen women doing that? Posting on their IG, them spreading some sheets, doing the laundry, washing their clothes, scrubbing the bathroom down, washing the dishes, Drying the clothes, folding the blankets. You don't see that. What you see is women enticing you, trying to show off their looks because that's all they got. 
That's it. So, because this is all they got, all the guys are in the DMs, all the guys are only seeking these women to smash. They're not seeking them to wife them up. They're not seeking them to, for nothing else other than to smash. It's at the point now, ladies, where men, men are not interested in nothing else but smashing. That's it. And it's not my fault. It's your fault. You don't respect yourself. Okay, you're going to get used. Just as simple as that. Because always remember something, ladies. A man cannot get access to your body unless you yield it to him. The only way a man can get access to your body is if you yield it to him. That's the only way. So a man cannot force himself on you. You allow a man to come to you, inside of you, to be blunt. You did that. So anything that comes your way that might be negative, you brought it on yourself. But are you going to take personal accountability for that? No, you're not. And this is why men are pumping and dumping. You're just too easy. You're just too easy. And guys, like I said, if you're seeking relationships with these women, if you're seeking relationships with a modern woman, you're wasting your time. The best thing you could do in today's day, the way the game is right now, is you just deal with women accordingly, bro. There is no such thing as, oh, she's my girlfriend. Guys, stop calling women your girlfriend. Let's say you, you met up with a woman, you're dealing with her, Oh, she's my girlfriend. No, she's not. She most likely probably got a man already. I'm just keeping a stack with you guys. A lot of the women y'all trying to holler at got a man. And you just don't know. This is the culture we live in, guys. I don't make the rules. This is what it is. So when you're dealing with a woman, whether you holler at her, exchange numbers, y'all meeting up, she's not your girlfriend. She's just a woman you messing with. We live in the messing with culture. That's where we're at right now. The I'm messing with you culture. Because you cannot claim this woman as your woman. Because number one, she's not. She's not faithful to you. You don't know what she's doing when she leaves your place. You don't know what she's doing when she's on her phone. You don't know what she's doing. I'm just messing with shorty. I don't know who she's dealing with at her job. I'm just dealing with this woman. I'm just, I'm just dealing with her. That's it. That's it. That's the relationship culture we're in right now. So you don't want to be the type of guy that is trying to get into a relationship because these women don't they don't know what a relationship means. They come to you brainless, bro, like literally with no sense. That's why it takes a man to instill value in a woman. And I try to teach these women all the time, but they don't listen to me. So they're going to be dealt with by the sharks. See, I understand that a lot of you guys that might be listening to me, you might be a pookie and a ray ray. You might be the type of guy that pump and dump. And that's what you do to each his own. I understand that there's a purpose for you. The reason why you're out here pumping and dumping these broads is because these women don't got no love for themselves. So they're going to get ran through. I cannot protect these women. They say that, oh, the black man ain't protecting us. But when I'm teaching you ladies this truth and I'm telling you to keep your damn legs closed, you don't want to do it. You still open it up for Tyrone. You still open it up because you home alone. You still open it up because that's what you want to do. And when things come through in your life and you're wondering why you got all these kids and you ain't married and you pushing 39, now you mad at me, blaming me for your problems, blaming your baby daddy when you made the choice to split your legs like the Red Sea. I don't understand this. This is the problem. And it's because you look good on the outside, but in the inside, you're full of dead men bones and all uncleanness. You look good enough to smash, but that's about it. You look good enough to hit from the back, but I'm not trying to wife you up because all you bring is problems and you have an attitude and I can't deal with it. So guys realize that in today's day. And this is why they join team pump and dump because they don't want to deal with the headaches. They understand the game. They realize the problems. They realize that women ain't trying to be wives. They realize that you ladies have multiple guys on rotation. They're like, hey, I'm just going to hit it and bounce. And that's about it. And that's what's going on in today's day. You know? That's what's going on in today's day, fam. Absolutely crazy. See, guys, we're living in a time where you got to understand. Because I don't think you're, I don't think none of you are getting it. 
You're living in an evil world. The world is evil. Everything is effed up. <laughs> it's just not the same. Do you, know, do, uh, do you understand what I'm saying? When you get with a woman, just kick it, bro. <laughs> just do you. That's all I can say. Because if you tell Shorty, I'm trying to make you my girl, the relationship's going to be over. Don't tell no woman that. I'm just letting you know, you younger brothers, don't tell a woman, hey, I'm trying to make you my lady. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. A woman is supposed to a woman is supposed to want to be your woman. She's she's supposed to come on to you, making that evident that she want to be your woman. You're not supposed to be, oh baby, you know I'm trying. No, no. One once you tell a modern woman that, fam, you you turn her off. They don't want to know that. Because you're making her feel like you're trying to lock her down. She wanna be free, remember? She wanna live her best life. So while she's with you, you you may be the experienced guy. You may be the guy that she go to to have fun. And you end up shooting yourself in the foot because you talking about baby, 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 I'm trying to wipe you up. She ain't want to hear that. So now she's looking at you sideways like, damn, you are really the cool guy. Now you you getting a little too attached. This is where their mind is, bro. If you get a little too attached, you're like, oh, you catching feelings. How many of you guys ever heard women say that? You catching feelings. Which is crazy because as a man, if you like a woman, don't you think you should have feelings for the woman? But they don't want you to have feelings for them. They want you to treat them like trash. This is the culture we're in, guys. Everything is backwards. If you treat a woman nice, she treat you like crap. If you treat a woman like crap, she loves you. If you're faithful to a woman, she cheats on you. If you got other women that you're sleeping with, she loves you. Let me show you these comments from this other woman, fam. I got to show you this stuff, fam. Because again, remember, if you watch my live, my last live stream, you guys would understand exactly what I'm saying here, right? Let me show you this particular set of comments here, fam. This particular woman came into the chat named Gemini. She came in. Now, this is from the video that I made about you need to date older women. I mean, uh, not older women, younger women rather than older women because older women got baggage and problems and all sorts of mess, right? Not saying that you can't mess with. Notice the key word, mess with. Not that you can't mess with an older woman. You can. You can do whatever you want to do. You're a man. But my point is you're going to have a better opportunity in terms of a woman that cooperate if she's younger. But what I'm trying to teach is that although younger women may be a little more cooperative than older women, you still have an element of younger women that are not cooperative. You understand? So I want to balance it out because a lot of times when I make these kind of topics, younger women start to think that they all that. They start to think that they some sort of prize. They start to think that, well, Ringo, tell the guys not to mess with the older women. So us younger sisters are the bomb. No, not necessarily. A lot of younger sisters have more problems because their brain is not ready. See, the older sister might be mature and understand the things that we want her to know now, but because she's older, she's washed up. So we don't want her, even though she got her damn mind right. Are you getting that? The older woman already learned her lesson. But because she grew older and her market value is down and she's no longer popping, we don't want her no more. I don't want all them kids. I want the woman that, that don't got no kids. I don't want to have to come to a woman house and she got five kids running around and I'm trying to chill. I don't want I don't want that. I want to know that I go a sister invite me to her house. And when I open the door, she's in a lingerie and there's no kids inside and I could just chill. I don't want to be wasting my damn time with a woman that says, oh, I got to wait for my kids to go to sleep. I got to wait for this. I got to get a babysitter. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to go here. I got to do that. I don't got that time. You understand? So now again, in my topic from yesterday, we talked about 
uh, the Mayweather situation as well as uh, dating younger younger women rather than older women. Now, I want to read these comments from this woman here because what it's going to show you guys is that uh, younger women, right, they lack the maturity when it comes to having an understanding when a man is teaching. And I'm going to break it all down for you to understand, right? She comes in, she says, ladies, she has five to six years to marry Mayweather or get uh, the F away from him and do better. Now, again, the woman is telling, is talking about how the young lady that's with Mayweather need to, she, she, she need to get married to him in the next five to six years or get the F away from him or else, I guess, get away from him to do better. How are you going to do better? <laughs> Again, this is what happens when women are naive and they don't know what they're talking about. It's like, what do you mean do better? Mayweather is loaded. He's most likely providing a lifestyle for this young lady that she never had and never could have with any other guy. Once she get exposed to that lifestyle, hypergamy is at the max. She can't go back. And this is the problem with women that want to go to the top. Once you go to the top, you can't go back. How many of you brothers was driving a hoopty at one time and your mans in them may have just bought a nice car, perhaps probably a Benz or BMW, and he came to the crib and y'all went outside, he showed you the car, and he said, yo, here's the keys, bro. Yo, go take a test drive. Let me know what you think. And you were a little hesitant because you know how it is, guys. When you take a test drive in a car that is better than your current car, you ain't gonna wanna go back to the old car. Do you understand me? So the same thing is with a woman when she get with a man that got bread. If that woman got with Mayweather and Mayweather is showing her a lifestyle, buying things for her, doing things for her, taking her here, flying her out, that woman because of hypergamy is never going to get with one of you brothers that work at Home Depot. It's not gonna happen. And there's no shot against the brothers at Home Depot. Salute to the brothers at Home Depot, the working brothers, the nine to five brothers, the brothers that's getting their bag. My point is, when a woman experiences that level of life, it's very difficult for her to go back. So for her to come into the comments and say that that woman got five to seven to six years to get married to Mayweather or, or you know, get away from him and do better, it makes no sense. She already have the best of the best, the creme of the creme. She have the best. The best is Mayweather. Do you understand me? That's her best. How many women can say they dated or even slept with Mayweather? But now what you guys have to understand is from a biblical perspective, some women may be religious and don't understand the magnitude of the problem in terms of Mayweather is not a Bible believing man. Mayweather is not a so-called man of the most high. So Mayweather is living by a different set of principles that don't apply to me. He's living in the lifestyle of, I'm just gonna kick it with these women, do what I gotta do, and then I'm gonna give them a care package when I'm ready to pack them up and get them on out of there. Trust and believe, any woman that might be dealing with Mayweather is under contract. Any woman that Mayweather would be effing with is most likely under contract. He's not just going to be slinging D on any young sister and that woman is not under a contract that clearly says these are the terms of the agreement and this is what you're here to do. Do you understand? Men that got power and money are not just out here playing little games with women. Those women come and go. They have a, a business opportunity. These relationships that Mayweather have with these women are all business relationships. He's paying for these women to be by his side. He got the money to do it. He don't got to waste his damn time with you females talking about baby, baby, I'm shooting my shot and I'm doing this. And sister, sister, could you please text me back? He don't got no damn time for that. All he got to do is just pull out his bread and them sisters get down in their damn underwears. Period. 
No time. And every man that is wealthy and got money, he don't have none of the problems that a lot of you guys have when it comes to dating and all these women. Just like how we talk about the dating game is rigged and the dating game is this and the dating game is that. Well, guys that got money, they don't got none of those problems. Because all he got to do is just stack his bread, pull out his bread, do what he got to do, and them women are in the bed. Period. Because the woman that is with Mayweather, he didn't have to shoot his shot. He didn't have to send her no text message. He didn't have to DM a book of messages. By the pure fact his name is Mayweather, she already doesn't know what it is. But see, a lot of you ladies, you've been playing games all your life, and that's why you don't got no man. Because you're waiting for a Mayweather to come in your life. Because a lot of you women, you suffer from hypergamy, and you're jealous of other women that actually have the man that you really desire. See, the truth is, guys, no matter how you see it or how you feel, younger women want an older guy that got a bunch of money. That is her goal. That's her goal. She don't want a righteous man. She don't want a holy man. She don't want a man that follow God. That's the last thing on her mind. I already done tried and tested the, the, the so-called system. I know what I'm talking about, guys. The majority of women do not want a man that follow the Bible. She don't want a man that rep the most high. She don't want a man that have any sort of standards. She want a man that got money to spend, a guy who is a boss, a guy who got a lot of paper, who can fly her out on her little sneaky link trips. A lot of these type of women love to be low key. They're very private. They're very discreet. And on the low, 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 these women be dealing with these type of guys. The Mayweather types, guys that got money, NBA ballers, and they go to the telly. They meet up them guys in there, do what it do, and then she go home. Dude send her back, pack her up, say, go home. I'll call you when I need you. These are the kind of relationships that are going on in the world. Trust and believe. And the reason why a lot of these women keep getting mad at me is because they're ashamed because they know what they do on the low, 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 right? So now again, she says, ladies, she has five to six years to marry Mayweather or get the F away from him and do better, as if though Mayweather is abusing her. So I sense a level of hate in the sister's comment. It's some sort of jealousy there. She says, if not, and she continued to allow guys to play in her flower. Notice that, play in her flower, as if though that young lady is not making a personal decision to get with Mayweather. But do you see how women love to say stuff like, oh, uh, allow men to play in her flower, like her flower is some sort of goal. Lady, let me tell you something. You're for JJ. All it does, it makes a man bust a nut. That's it. That's all it does. That's all it does. All your for JJ does is to make a man bust a nut and it pop out babies. That's about it. It ain't special. And with most of us brothers, we might not even want your JJ. We'll just get some head and call it a day. Serious. Heck, I just find me a sister with pretty feet and get me a foot job and I'm good to go, fam. I'm good to go, I'm good. I just go to, I just go to her crib and get me a damn foot job and I'm straight. Keep it in a stack. I don't need your JJ at the end of the day. I just need to bust a nut. That's it. Get mad. It's the truth. You see what I'm saying? See, guys, women don't like when you spit that type of talk because at the end of the day, what it says is, I don't need your vagina. I don't need it. At the end of the day, a brother just want to bust a nut. And you ladies don't understand that. You putting all this emphasis on your vagina like it's gold. Nah, we can stay away from the vagina because through your vagina, that's how you get pregnant. Heck, you might have an epidemic of men that are now saying, look, I don't even want her vagina no more. I'm just going to stick to getting some head. Now what? Now you ain't getting pregnant no more, but these guys are still popping off nuts. Real talk. Tell you, man, I'm keeping under stack, fam. Ringo TV Raw. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.
So she goes on. She says she will be she will be all the things Ringo says. Well, the pretty much all of you ladies, including the woman that made the comment, all of you ladies are going to be the things that I've said. All of you. None of you are going to be exempt from the judgment that's coming because if you're a woman and you rep the most high and you're not gravitating towards a righteous man so he could put you in your place. And I say put you in your place because that's where you need to be in your place because you're out of place and you're displaced because you're a mess. You're out here and you don't know where you're going. You don't have no guidance. And this is what happens when women don't got a man in their life. That 26 year old that is with Mayweather might be getting the best guidance in her life. Even if Mayweather's not with the most high. He could probably put her on to the point where she's now in position to get a bag. You going to think that a woman going to get with Mayweather and he not going to put her in position to get a bag to start a business? Fam, y'all tripping out here. A lot of women are just jealous, fam, straight up like that. So she goes on. She says, because she would then be closed to hitting the wall. Well, all of you ladies are going to hit the wall. If you don't get with a man in your prime, you're going to hit that damn wall because eventually you're going to get pregnant by somebody. She says, pay attention. She is no virgin more than likely. Well, nobody cares about that in today's day. None of you ladies are virgins to begin with. Um, been with other men. That's normal. Guys, when you get with a modern woman, none of them are going to be virgins and all of them are going to be sleeping around with other men. They all got body counts. I'm not interested in none of that other uh, extra stuff. It's just a waste of time. I'm not sitting around waiting for a damn virgin. Even if a sister is a virgin, she's going to be like that for the rest of her natural life because the fear of relationships is going to continue to haunt her and she's going to hold her virginity for the rest of her natural life until she dies, fam. I'm telling you, it's just the way it's going to be. It's nice if you get a woman that's a virgin, but at the end of the day, fam, I really don't care because none of these women are faithful and none of them are wife material and none of them are gravitating towards a righteous man. At the end of the day, I'm not wasting my time. So that being said, she went on. She says, uh, let's see where we at. Been with other men. Uh, she only got six years left to marry. Then she's done. She's just a booty call after that, according to men. Well, all of you ladies are going to be a booty call at the end of the day. All of you. All of you will become booty calls at the end of the day because none of you are cooperative and none of you want to settle down with a man. You keep saying stuff like, well, as a woman, I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to settle. OK, cool. Guys are just going to pump and dump you. You're going to be recreational use and you're going to become a single baby mama. That's pretty much it. All I'm doing is telling you ladies the future. Y'all keep getting mad at me like I'm telling these brothers to use you. You're going to get used because you choose to get used. You choose to open your legs. You choose not to submit to a man. You choose to rebel against the most high. Therefore, you're going to get used and abused by all the brothers. Right? So I pretty much came in there. Let me see what I said, fam. I don't care what I said. Uh, let me see. Mayweather. I didn't open up all the comments. Let me see. I didn't open up all the comments. I might have to go find the comment again and see if I could do this. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can do this because part of the comment is not open. I got to make sure that it's open so that we can actually review it. Let me turn this thing off right here. Go to the video section and do what I got to do here. I got to take another screenshot of this. Uh, comments so I know where I'm at um let me see I only need to take a picture of the top comment that's about it that way I can know what I said right okay oh same time I'm here I can get the picture with Mayweather yeah I could do that too just so that we all on the same page so that we know what's going on. All right. Okay. Where we at? Let's get this photo. All right. So this is the photo with Mayweather. Right. And the uh, woman. Right. And she's 26. Mayweather's 46. And women, black women are upset. Because if you notice, Mayweather don't 
he don't hook up with just some regular black woman. No, he go get these other types of women, and a lot of our women are upset and jealous. That's just the way it is, fam. Don't get mad at me. It's his preference. Don't get mad. And there's a reason why he get with those kind of women, because obviously those kind of women are more cooperative. And we're going to talk about that. So here's my comment with the extra text that was in it. So let me see what I said now. I said uh, Mayweather, Mayweather not marrying any woman. He's wealthy. And he's not dumb. He know why these women come to him. And that's true. Wealthy men understand the game. M wealthy men get their pick of the litter. That's just the, the way the game is. You cannot stop it. You can't control it. That's why Solomon in the Bible had hundreds of wives and hundreds of concubines. The wealthier the man, he has the pick of the litter. There's just there's no other way around it, fam. That's just the way it is. And that's life, you know. So we made that very clear to her. I said, it's sad how, it's sad how, I guess, females think uh, your vagina is golden. Uh, you said she's allowing him to play in her flower. He's using her or taking something from her. And that's typically what she's saying. Like Mayweather is have this woman against her will and using her and degrading her. No, uh, she wants to be with him and understand her purpose. Just like most women understand why they're sneaky links, why they're jump offs, why they're side pieces and why they're single mothers. They understand their purpose. Uh, go on, it says Mayweather don't follow the Bible. Uh, perhaps that woman is judging Mayweather by the Bible as of though Mayweather is supposed to live by the order of the most high. I told you already, different brothers come to my platform. I understand that a lot of you guys might be Muslim. Some of you might be Buddhist. Some of you guys might have no faith. Some of you might rep the most high. Some of you might be Christian. Some of you might not be in a faith. You might be an atheist. You might be this. You might be that. I understand that. So at the end of the day, I cannot talk to one group of men. I got to talk in general. One minute, I might open the scriptures. Next minute, I might drop some game. Next minute, I might go in. Next minute, I might talk some real talk. That's just the way it is. I got to speak to all demographics of men in all walks of life so they all understand what's going on here. Mayweather is not living by the Bible. So Mayweather is going to live by his own principles. Mayweather believe that he's God. He believe he is his own God. And there's nothing you could tell that man. Just like there's a lot of guys out here who believe they're their own man and nobody could tell them what to do. They'll listen to things. They'll do things. But you cannot tell a guy that got paper and bread worth probably a billion dollars. And you trying to tell him what and what he cannot do when it comes to a woman. He don't want to hear none of that mess. He worked so damn hard his whole life to be where he is. He's just at the game chilling minding his own business and he got his woman by his side and he's just doing his thing living his life and there's nothing nobody could do to stop it and she know what her purpose is her purpose is to look good for him and that's it when he's out in public she's supposed to look good that's the that's the so-called uh purpose in which she lives she understands the assignment the assignment is simple her job is to make him look good. Her job is to put his her legs over his. Her job is to just make him be that man. And that's it. And a lot of people are jealous because they can't do it. Jealous. And when I said jealous because they can't do it, I'm not talking about men that are jealous of Mayweather because us brothers, we don't got no time to be jealous of another man. I'm talking about women being jealous because they wish they were in that position. Well, when you're rich, when you're rich like Mayweather, you don't get women with BBLs because it's a waste of damn time. They go and they get the, the finest woman that they can find. And it's interesting because any woman that you see Mayweather with is always fine. Always. You don't see him with these so-called women that these other athletes get. You know, guys that get with the Sierras and the, uh, you know, passing around these industry 304s. Those guys, are. I don't understand these guys, man. Like, why would you be a dude, get with a man and uh, so-called a, a, a woman who her man is future and now you taking care of his kids? Why would you do that? What? That's like me going and get with Sierra, knowing that 
Future's rod was in her mouth. I'm not doing that, fam. I'm going to be the laughing stock of the world walking around playing the stepdaddy role. Do you see Mayweather playing the stepdaddy role? I'm just asking, fam. I'm just asking. But hey, let me see what else we got here with this message here. Let me see. So we going on to say, let me see. Da -da -da -da. Playing her flower. She just this. Da -da -da -da. Okay. She want, she want to be with him and understand her purpose. Mayweather don't follow the Bible. So why are you judging him and the woman as if everyone is following a standard of truth? Now, notice how I'm speaking. Notice how I'm speaking. I, I rep the Bible. I rep the most high. But I'm speaking in the manner of there are men that don't follow the Bible. So how could you judge them by a righteous stance as of though that's how all men are supposed to be when that's not how it is? You understand? So. I say selective hearing is a cancer. All of you females are doomed to failure because you don't know how to listen to learn and you're not following the most high. You live in fear and you see all men the same. And this is why you will all grow old or become single mothers with three kids. And this is true. A lot of young ladies, believe it or not, because their mind ain't ready, right? They're going to end up becoming single mothers in the future because they refuse to take heed to the issues of life and understanding purpose and the dynamics of where the world is going. We live in an evil world. If younger sisters rep the most high and really believed in God, they would be running towards a righteous man to become a wife. If they're not, these women are crazy and they're going to be single for the rest of their natural life. I'm telling you, Right? So I, I go on, it says, who cares if she was with other men? She's lost in the world. In other words, who cares? I mean, half of you brothers are going to get with women that are non-virgins. Who cares? You know, at the end of the day, that's the world we live in. We live in a satanic, evil, wicked world. I and mean, that's just the way it is. And half of these women that claim they're virgins be popping themselves with all sorts of toys at the end of the day. So they ain't saying nothing. None of these women ain't saying nothing. Fact, matter of fact, guys, I can promise you, bro, a lot of these sisters that claim they virgins, right? These women are not virgins, bro. These, these women be playing with toys, playing with themselves, doing all sorts of things. I mean, how else are they going to experiment? Just like all you brothers out there, at some point in your life, you were masturbating. You were beating the drum. And then you probably stop. Some of you brothers still struggle. That's why we make content trying to help you to avoid and overcome your issues. But at the end of the day, a lot of these sisters today, man, they just hypocrites at the end of the day. And they always got something to say regarding life issues, but they don't have guidance to understand there's different types of men, there's different types of women, and there's different types of situations. Everybody is living a different life in this life right now. There's all sorts of issues going on in the world, man. That's why I always tell you guys, keep the most high first. Focus on your health and fitness. Focus on your money because the world is evil, bro. You get with a woman, just deal with her accordingly, fam. Just deal with her accordingly. It's not about, oh, she's my wife. She's my girlfriend. No, she's just a woman I'm messing with, bro. At the end of the day, that's the world we live in right now. Let that sister make it clear to you that she want to be your woman. Let that sister hold your hand and tell you, I want to be your wife. I want to be the, the mother of your children. I want to serve you. Let her do that. Don't you be trying to force the situation or make a woman no we don't do that as men not in today's day 2023 we're living in a different world guys and we have to move accordingly at the end of the day so i goes on and i says uh who cares if she was with other men she's lost in the world she don't live by standards she's doing what 95 percent of women do none of these women will become a wife because their only recreational use to various men because they're all selling their flower for cash. And that's what she's doing. She's with Mayweather. She understands the purpose. She understands what she's doing. It is what it is. Nobody can stop that. We all know why she's there. It's because of the money. A lot of these women don't really have genuine love. But again, who am I to judge? Maybe she do have genuine love. Maybe Mayweather feeling her. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You never know. Anyway, they think their beauty is golden. She will be replaced 
and there will be another one. And that's true. There's going to be other ones. Uh, that is how that is how things go when a woman is thirsty for rich men and a lifestyle. Hypergamy always make women like this gravitate towards guys like Mayweather. And eventually they get ran through, they get used up, and then they end up becoming a single mother. That's just the way it is. You can't stop that. It is what it is. Does that mean that Mayweather may get rid of her? I doubt it. I'm pretty sure he might have her on the team for a long time. Again, those are just one of his women. Mayweather probably got 50 women. He probably got 100 women. Nobody don't know how many women Mayweather got. The man is wealthy. Trust and believe. He got multiple women, and none of those women got a problem with the fact that he got other women. That's another thing that y'all must understand. So we're going on to say, let me see. Da -da -da -da. You sound like a hater. This is what I'm telling the sister. You sound like a hater. Sound like you mad you're not with Mayweather. You mad he's not with a black woman? Question. He's not with a black woman because you females argue too much and have a bad attitude and don't listen. And that's a problem. I'm very sure she listens to him and submits to him. Doesn't matter how you feel about them. He's living his life and you're not because you don't have no righteous, godly man of truth because you're not mature enough to understand purpose. Do you understand? That young lady is serving her purpose, regardless if it goes against my belief system, regardless if Mayweather didn't make her a wife. She's serving a purpose to that man, period. That's just the way it is. Just like when you got a woman in your life, she serves a purpose. Whether she's a jump off, side piece, whatever kind of piece you call her, hey, she's serving the purpose that you put her there for, right? So now, let me see where we at now. Let me take this piece off right here. Hold on a second. Wait. Take this. This off. So, okay. So, we read that comment up there. So, now, let me see. Hold on a second. Uh, where I put that damn thing at? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I guess we move this piece up here like this. Hold on a second. All right. Okay. So now she comes back in. She says, yeah. Hold on. I'm not on camera. Okay. So she come back in. She says, uh, yeah. And she's with Mayweather because he got money. Well, that's why you ladies are with any man that you're with. What are you talking about? It's not making no sense. You ladies only would get with a man if he got money. If a man is broke, you want to get with him? How many of you ladies would get with a man if he's broke? Talk to me. How many of you ladies? How many of you ladies are going to get with a man if he's broke and he live on the street and he's a bum? You ain't going to want to get with him because he don't got nothing popping. Y'all ladies talk about this all the time. That's why it's crazy when, when women say stuff like, oh, you know, yeah, she got with Mayweather because he got money. He's smashing, but ain't marrying. LOL. And she's laughing like this is funny. But yet, do that same woman got a husband? That 26-year-old is living better than you, fam. You don't even got a man. You don't even have a husband. You don't even have a man that you serving. You haven't even brought forth children. Well, then again, I don't know. You're probably a single mom. I don't know. But my point is, look at how women talk about other women. And it's all out of jealousy when you really think about it. It's really out of jealousy because it's like, yeah, and she's with Mayweather because he got money. He's smashing but ain't marrying. Well, you ain't married. You don't got no husband. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. How many guys you been with? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. See, nobody want to talk about that. Every woman is getting smashed. Who cares if Mayweather is smashing her? Marrying her? All this other nonsense. LOL. If he does marry her, she won't be loyal. Now you're saying she won't be loyal. 
Are y'all seeing this? She's shaming Mayweather by saying he's smashing her, but he's not going to marry her. Then she says, if he marry her, she's not going to be loyal. Do you see how these women have no sense, no brain? Their brain is not ready. This is where they are, guys. He, if he, if he does marry, if he does marry her, she won't be loyal. And she will divorce him in seven to ten years and run off with, I guess, a bag. Well, that's why he's not marrying her. <laughs> These women don't know nothing, man. Men that got millions don't marry women, guys. And if you're a brother and you got a bunch of paper, don't don't talk about that marriage. Nothing. Don't even don't even do it. You just deal with women, bro. Just deal with them accordingly. They'll come. Trust and believe. Right? Uh, because this is what women want. They want the bag. And a lot of younger women want that. Because remember, this is a younger woman here. This is the younger woman talking like this. So she understands the, the assignment is to get the bag. That's why she said in 7 to 10 years. Now, why 7 to 10 years? Because, guys, typically women that are in their 20s, right, they will get with a man that got bread They'll probably mar get married, and then they'll have their escape plan. So by the time they hit their early 30s, they already divorce you. But they still looking youthful, so now they can go find another man. You know? They could go find another man, or they could just be single and have a bag. This is what younger women do, guys. This is how they think. Because she's saying if he does marry her, she won't be loyal. Why wouldn't she be loyal? That sounds like hate coming from you. You sound jealous. And she will divorce him in seven to ten years and run off with a bag. It's true. They always do. Now, you see how she's laughing and think it's funny? Because that's what these younger women want to do, too. So as a man that is older trying to kick it with younger women... I want to make you guys understand that this is something you're going to also have to look out for. So when you deal with these younger women, you got to deal with them accordingly because a lot of them have that same mindset. The same way you see her talking right there is the same thing she would do. Understand the game. It takes one to know one, fam. The same way she's talking about what that woman would do is what she would do. Be very careful, guys. I just I just pick up on the signs and I'm able to know what they're up to. You know? She says, no hate. Notice that she says no hate, but really it is hate. She's jealous. No hate. They both getting what they want. He getting young cat. Notice that young cat. He's getting young cat. A guy don't care if cat is young or old, as long as he's able to bust a nut. I'm telling you guys, a lot of the younger sisters really believe that they're, because they're younger, their cat is better. A lot of younger cats smell. A lot of young sisters, their cat has diseases, has fleas, bacteria, all sorts of mess. You understand? So, hey, get out of your mind, high horse, thinking that, oh, because she's young, her cat is this and her cat is that, fam. Nobody cares about that. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you all are going to get smashed. Every last one of you ladies. If I'm not hitting it, another guy going to hit it. It is what it is. Right? She says no hate. They both getting what they want. He getting young cat and she getting gifts, treated, and cash possibly. But either way... It's a transactional, tra transactional situationship because it is, it isn't marriage. She, she's judging them based off of some sort of righteous, biblical, Christian, uh, Israelite standard of marriage. Not realizing that Mayweather comes from a different walk of life. Just like I told you guys, 
Some of you brothers, you might be Muslim, Hebrew Israelite, you know, Christian, Buddhist, atheist, agnostic. There's all different types of walks of life guys come from. So when I'm talking, I got to talk to every different type of man to make the message easy for you to understand and benefit from. If, if I'm just quoting scriptures and you don't rep the most high and that's not your cup of tea, then I, would, I wouldn't even be properly providing content because I'm one-sided. You know what I mean? So I have to diversify the message for everyone and make sure that it's practical and we can all comprehend what's going on when we're talking, right? So Mayweather is not a Christian. Mayweather don't follow the Bible. So all of that stuff about because it isn't a marriage, nobody cares. Whether it's a transactional relationship, a situationship, I already done told you. If Mayweather is with this young lady, trust and believe she's under contract. He's going to protect himself. He know the game. He's seen all the scandals. So he's going to have his attorneys. He's going to have everything and it's going to be set, right? So I come back in and I say, why are you here wasting your time? You clearly are immature and have selective hearing. Um, let me see. Wait, wait. Did I even finish what she said? I don't think I finished what she said. Let me see. I don't think I finished. Okay. She says no hate. They both getting what they want. He getting young cat. Okay. He getting young cat and she's getting gifts treated cash possibly. Either way, it's a transactional situation ship because it isn't marriage. Don't preach two different messages, Ringo. That's confusion. Now, notice what she just did right there. She just said that I'm preaching two different types of messages. That's a lie. I don't preach two different types of messages. I preach one message, and the messages go out, and it deals with whoever needs to get whatever they need to get. This woman has selective hearing. In her mind, she's hearing something that I didn't say. I don't know what it is, but that's what her brain is telling her. Her brain is interpreting my message as if though I'm telling the guys to go out there, pump and dump women, smash and dash, use them up, play, play, do whatever. You guys are going to do what y'all going to do regardless. I cannot stop you. At the end of the day, brothers, relationships, dating, marriage is dead. It's done. Stop trying to go out here trying to get a woman to be in a relationship with you. As a man, you're supposed to go out there and just deal with women. Deal with them. Just deal with them. I'm not on none of this nonsense about, oh, shorty's my concubine. None of that's bullshit. I'm not dealing with none of that stuff, fam. I'm not dealing with none of that. You just deal with women. That's my message. Deal with women accordingly. That's it. Just deal with them. I'm not categorizing that no more because these women are crazy today. These women are wasting all of our time, bro. All of our time. I am tired of preaching this message. Trying to get these sisters to get on the straight and narrow. Trying to tell these sisters to become a wife. Trying to tell these sisters to become a concubine. Trying to tell these sisters to get right with the most high. These sisters ain't listening. Okay, brothers, deal with them accordingly. Deal with them accordingly. Because if a woman's legs is open, deal with her accordingly. If a woman is letting you hit it from the back, deal with her accordingly. If a woman, if a woman choose to give you some top and she's not your wife, deal with her accordingly. I don't care. That's her problem. Say what you want. Because these women have selective hearing and what they're going to say is Ringo is telling the guys to pump and dump. He's a hypocrite. No, you're a hypocrite because you don't understand. You have your legs open. A guy cannot pump and dump you if your legs are closed. A guy can't take advantage of you if your legs are closed. You don't want your legs to be closed. Your legs are open like the 24-hour store. So I don't care what they do. But Ringo, you got four daughters. Can you please stop wasting your time with that? I told you a thousand times. If my daughters get, when my daughters get of age and they want to go out there and be 304s and act a fool, that's their damn problem. So what shaming language are you going to use now? I don't care. Once you grown, you grown. You're on your own. You're a woman, you grown, you want to open your legs for everybody? Okay, cool. Cool. 
It is what it is. It's fair game. Listen, the same way I'm talking to you ladies, the same way I'm talking about different subjects, same way I'm talking to my daughters, same way. They want to go out there and act a fool? That's their problem. They on their own. You come home with a belly? Oh, guess what, young lady? Time for you to go. That's right. Time for you to go take care of that baby now. Because I'm not taking care of the baby. Do you understand me? I'm not doing that. So if they go out and they make them choices like you women out there, they on their own. That's called tough love. Right. So now let's see what we got here, because she said that uh, I'm preaching two different messages, which is crazy because I'm only preaching one. She's confused because she's not listening and she has selective hearing. So I'm letting her know, why are you here wasting your time? You clearly are immature and have selective hearing. You're extremely disrespectful and have a bad attitude when it comes to truth and life issues. What is the life issues I'm talking about? I'm talking about the issue with Mayweather. I'm talking about the issue with men getting with younger women rather than older women. And I'm having, I'm in the video, I shared context on why getting with a younger woman is preferably better. It doesn't mean you can't get with an older woman if that's your prerogative. Like I said, guys, deal with women accordingly. When you hear my content, guys, you're supposed to take the content, take the advice, and then use your brain. You get what I'm saying? So if you listen to the, the messages, you go out there and you deal with women, you deal with them based on your own discretion. Just use your brain. Something ain't right, you leave it alone. A sister acting up, you cut her off. A sister stay true, you keep on your team. Simple as that. You don't identify as your girlfriend, you don't identify as your wife. You're just kicking it. That's all you're doing. Because that's the culture we live in. I'm telling you guys. If you get with a woman and you're talking all that stuff about, oh, you're my girlfriend and I'm trying to make you my girl and relationship's going to be over after that. She's going to eventually ghost you. You wait for a woman to want to be your woman. Let it get to the point where the sister's texting you and you're like, look, what are you... What are you what are you doing? Like you trying to be my woman or something? That's what you're trying to be. And let her let her submit to you. Let her play the position she wants. Because if you try to say, hey, I'm trying to make you my wife and a woman realize that's what you want to do. She's going to take advantage of you. I'm telling you. Once a woman realizes that you like her so much to the point where you want to make her your wife, she's going to take advantage of you, bro. She's going to start playing games, man. She's going to start to say stuff like, I don't know if I'm ready. Maybe you got to buy me a bag or maybe you got to take me on a vacation, take me to the Bahamas, something to prove to me that now she's playing games with you now. You see what she's doing? She's taking advantage of you because she realized that you sharing your feelings. You're sharing your heart. Now you're getting a little too, you opening up too much. You didn't even let that woman open up to you. Bad idea, guy. She's going to take advantage of you. Don't do it. All right? So moving on, I say to her, uh, you're extremely disrespectful and have a bad attitude when it comes to truth and life issues. If you don't like my content, stop viewing Go watch Miss Sprinkle Sprinkle or channels where they hate men. Because for some reason she said that I'm preaching two different messages. Uh, that's confusion. So, hey, if you feel that way, don't watch my content. Doesn't matter who you are. I don't care. You know what I mean? Um, she went on to say, you men. Now, notice how she started with this dis, dis, um, disrespect. She says, you men truly think all women are the same and all were and want to be out giving it up, uh, bossy, and want to control um, men. Uh, you also act like men don't have mistakes. It's hilarious, because 
if they were doing right, they wouldn't be here complaining and getting advice. But yet she's listening to my video. <laughs> if you had a husband, you would not be watching me. It's crazy, man. You know, absolutely crazy. Guys, the best thing I can tell you, fam, is just go out there and just deal with women accordingly and just use your discretion. That's it. That's the best thing I could tell you. Today's day, the message is just deal with women accordingly. That's it. She's not my wife. She's not my concubine. I'm just dealing with her. That's it. Let her decide what she want to be. Oh, she allowed me to be, be between her legs? Okay, cool. It is what it is. I didn't do nothing wrong. That's what she wanted. So stop getting mad at me. Because see, a lot of ladies, man, it's like they're hypocrites, guys. It's like they're trying to be all like they have these morals and values, but they really don't. They really don't have no morals or values. She's looking at the guys that are in my comment section by saying, you men truly think all women are the same. All women are the same. They are the same. All of them are the same, exactly the same. They all think the same, do the same thing, and that's why they're all single. She says, you men really think all women are the same, and all were and want to to be out giving it up uh bossy and want to control men um that's what women want to do they want to control men uh you also act like men don't make mistakes again that's projecting because throughout my videos and my streams on all my platforms i constantly talking about i talk about the issues regarding men but again women have selective hearing so I don't know why she's talking about men in terms of men making mistakes, especially if she's on a moral, I guess, high ground of believing everything has to be about morals and values based on the Bible or something along them lines. If that's where she's coming from, the men she's talking about can't be righteous men because righteous men rep the most high. They follow in the most high. So who is she talking about? She's talking about the typical Pookies and Ray Rays that are out there wilding out. You know, at the end of the day, I don't speak for those guys. Those guys are living for the devil. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, Pookies and Ray Rays are going to be Pookies and Ray Rays. I cannot control those guys. I can only control what I do. Right? So she goes on. She says, you also act like men don't make mistakes. It's hilarious because if they were doing right, they wouldn't be here complaining and getting advice. Well, it's not that they're here complaining. Men are not here complaining or and anybody can come to a platform to get advice, just like you're watching my content. You're watching my content because you're learning how to be who you are from my content. So technically, I'm raising you. <laughs> you see that? It's interesting how a woman can say that you guys are here complaining and, and getting advice and how you're just down on your luck. But she's watching my videos. Isn't that crazy? Like, it doesn't make no sense. Like, why do women like that frequent my channel for? Why does she watch? Why does she hang around me if if she has a problem? It makes no sense, man. You know, it, it don't make no sense at all, man. Um, let me see. The troll in the chat look like pack this crazy person up, man. I don't understand. When people in the chat and they're going crazy, sometimes y'all gotta like point it out, you know. That way I can just get rid of the trolls when they come in. You know. Anytime I see something starting to get crazy, I got to just pack them up because no moderators in the building right now. So if I see any activity that looks strange and crazy, I'm just getting them up on out of here because I don't got no time. Right. So uh, let's see where we at. So she's complaining. She's saying that us, you guys that are here that you're just all whining and complaining about women, not realizing that these women today ain't shit. And uh, as men, 
we're talking about these issues because we're living in a time where women are out of control. So if we can't find women that are wife material, if we can't find women that we can settle down and build relationships with, then pumping and dumping is going to be the option that a lot of men are going to be choosing. And this is just practical knowledge that you can't deny. I cannot just keep telling guys, you know, you're going to find this lovely woman when women ain't shit. Like they're just out here living their best life. They're not trying to settle down with a man. They're not trying to listen to a man teach. You see how that woman is. She's literally complaining that you guys are here seeking advice because you're struggling, not realizing that we're just men chopping up game. We're just here getting information, breaking things down so you guys understand what's going on in these streets. Because at the end of the day, you're going to deal with women regardless what it is. You know, if I'm outside and I'm just doing my thing, walking down the street and I see a sister that's fine, whatever, whatever, and I end up hooking up with her, fam, it is what it is. I cannot control the future, bro. I cannot control what's coming next. I can't. I don't know what it's going to be. Just like you don't know what it's going to be. Some of you brothers, you might be out and about right now while you're listening to this live and you run into a woman. And next minute, y'all hit it off and you end up going on a date the same night. Just like that. Out of the blue. You know? So she says, y'all gave up your wife. What? Y'all gave up y'all, y'all gave up on your wife, wives years ago when you were young, out pumping and dumping. I don't think it's a man or a woman thing, but more. So a systematic thing and culture, just uh, jerk the chicken and be happy. Now, notice what she's telling you. She's telling you guys to go beat off when I teach you guys not to do that. Now, is her advice good advice or advice that's coming from the devil? And she's supposed to be a young lady. She's telling you guys to go and jerk the chicken and be happy or go to the high schools. She's telling you to go to a high school, y'all. Isn't that crazy? She's telling you to go to a high school. If your ASS ain't elite, notice what she's telling you. If your ASS ain't elite, the high school girls giving it up quicker to their peers and young adult males. Ringo doesn't even know he's speaking to basic dudes. Now notice the disrespect. Do you see the disrespect on this young lady here? Do you see that? She's gonna be another one of them same ladies, single for the rest of her life, single baby mama. Same thing. That sound like a hurt, bitter woman. That don't sound like a woman that's pure. That sound like a woman that's angry about something. Somebody hurt that woman. That's what you call hurt, crying out, right? So let me see what's next. Uh, let me see. So I, was, I responded by saying, you're lost and will remain alone and or become a single mother soon. I know your type, seen your type many times. Then they end up with a pookie and pregnant. I'm not religious. I'm not religious. And my teachings are for all men who have ears to hear. Women like you aren't listening to learn anything. You hear what you want. And this is why you will never experience life with a man of truth. Can't teach you females nothing. This is why females like you always fail. You're spoiled, confused, unlearned, and blind. No real man would take you serious because your attitude sucks and it's a turnoff. No wonder Mayweather don't have a black woman by his side. There is a big reason why. You need to check the bad attitude you have because it's not attractive and see guys that's coming from a younger woman 
So although we teach you that younger women are preferably the better option, you have to also realize that there are younger women that their minds are not right. So you're going to be dealing with the lack of maturity. So you got to find the balance of where and how. Older women might have the maturity, but they lack the market value. They lack, uh, you know, having good behavior and being cooperative because they're set in their ways. A lot of younger women lack the maturity of an older woman. She's more likely to listen to you, but at the same time, you're going to have to put her through a lot of training. You got to talk to her a lot. There's a lot you got to do. So you got to find the balance. You got to find the balance of where this woman is and begin to build up her mind in terms of teaching her how you want her to be. Because normally when women have a lot of bad experiences in their past, what they do is they take it out on all new relationships and men. So if you listen to how she was talking, you could tell that there's some sort of issue there. Don't, don't understand exactly what it is, but there's a problem there. You know? Let me see. Where are we at now? Um, let me see. Somebody said, damn, it's crazy out here, bro. I appreciate your content and knowledge you give us, Ringo. Um, Vivica A. Fox is prime example. In her youth, her and 50 Cent was dating. Yeah, in her youth. <laughs> and now it's like what she's doing now, a mess. And this is where they are, guys. I'm telling you, it's really bad. Can you teach a woman that have a past? You could teach a woman anything. Every woman have a past, but it also depends on what kind of past a woman have before a man give her a pass. You know what I'm saying? You could teach a woman that have a past, but if that woman is not up to par, don't fit the description of what a man want, don't stimulate a man, not cooperative, don't want to listen, She's, she don't look youthful, she got a bunch of baggage, a man is not even going to stick around to teach her anything because he don't want her. I'm telling you guys, to get into the point now, where you, it's going to get to the point, guys, I promise you, it's going to get to the point where you guys are going to be pushing women away. Women are going to be coming to you. You're going to be pushing them away. You're going to be like, look, I'm good. I'm good. Shorty going to want to talk to you. You're going to be like, I'm good. You don't want to talk to me? Nah. I got a lot of things I got to do right now. It's going to get to that point, guys. Some of you guys had already got to that point. You're literally, you know, not even interested in playing these little games. You know what I mean? Um, Soldier Girl says, ads are running. That's how I get paid. You don't want me to get paid? If you don't want me to get paid, I can just shut down the stream right now. Matter of fact, we out. Peace, y'all. If you like our content, consider supporting via Cash App at dollar sign Ringo TV Raw. Become a patron on Patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at paypal.me slash RingoTVRaw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at RingoTVRaw. This is Ringo TV Reaction. The only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth 100% raw.